Now, during the Gwangju pro-democracy movement, which began in South Korea on May 18th, 1980, a German journalist made the world aware of what was happening in Korea's southwestern city. Now, awards named in his honor recognize journalists of today working to cover democracy and peace movements. Ishihu reports. In Khartoum, the capital of Sudan, a man dressed as Spider-Man dodges tear gas and bites back. A real-life superhero, he is a demonstrator striving for democratic rule after a military coup. The man's days as Spider-Man were vividly captured by British journalist Philip Cox, who was recognized at the Hinspetter Awards ceremony held in Gwangju on Thursday. The awards are named after German journalist Wirgen Hinspetter, who captured the deadly scenes of the May 18 pro-democracy movement in Gwangju back in 1980. Established by the Korea Video Journalist Association and the May 18 Memorial Foundation, the awards aim to recognize video journalists like Hinspetter, who through their coverage demonstrate the values of democracy, human rights and peace. Philip Cox won this year's The World at a Crossroads Award, considered the most prestigious for his documentary, The Spider-Man of Sudan. Yeah, it's a great honor to receive the Hinspetter Award uh, and also to be here in Guangzhou, you know, coming from London, England, uh, and to learn about what, what the people of Guangzhou did in 1980 and what they suffered. This year's award for news went to Takuya Watanabe of TBS, who reported on how the Afghan people and lives there have changed since U.S. troops withdrew and the Taliban came to power. With the same spirit that Hinspeter had, I hope we will continue to seek and capture the truth. South Korea's Yoon Jae-won, Jeon In-tae and Kim Dong-yeol received the award for features for their documentary 68 Days on the Front Line. Their work captured ordinary people's struggles at a crossroads of life and death amid the war in Ukraine. I am very happy that I'm receiving the best award a Korean journalist can receive. The May Gwangju Award went to the late Shireen Abu Akleh and Majdi Banura. Akleh was a Palestinian journalist for Al Jazeera who had reported on issues between Palestine and Israel since 1997. She was killed by Israeli defense forces while reporting on the raid on a Palestinian refugee camp. Her death was filmed by Benura, who has documented the Israeli military's violence for the past 24 years. I believe this award represents democracy and liberty, so I'm grateful for being able to come here today. The next Hinspetter Award ceremony will take place in Seoul in the fall of 2023. Candidates who wish to be considered can apply through the official website in the summer. Yi Shi Hu, Arirang News, Gwangju.